Deciding to have a hobby, an outlet, creative source to motivate you. Now, you are told by a friend of a specific um, hobby called tap dancing, I suppose. And you have to be aware. You have to be aware of the good things and the bad things. Now, you take her advice and you join the class. And at first, when you join the class, you're a little bit apprehensive because you think that you won't fit in, because you think that you're inexperienced, because you think that you're overweight or that you're otherwise bad or something. But you focus, you focus, and you do it. And then you do this for a while, and it begins to get tiring. It begins to become almost hypnotic. And then, as you feel yourself getting tired, you stop, and then you, um, you're finished, and you're done for the day. But, you're here there auditioning for solos, and you've made a friend named Kathy, and Kathy tells you, you know, whoever you are, I'm not in this for glory. I'm in this to help myself relax and to spend time. So at this point, you assume she is not a threat to you. So you become friends with her, and you put your trust, and you ask her for help. You say, I'd like to audition for this, but I don't think I'm good enough. I, I don't think I have the confidence. But she says, no, I will help you, because I don't care about it, and because I'm I. So, what you do is you come over to her house. She has her own private room, mirrors, um, supplies, spare um, dresses or whatever. So you, start, <laughs> so you start doing with her. I mean, you start. We understand. And you start. Practicing. Practicing. And so, you're doing well. She gives you criticism, but you learn to take it in stride. Then, you find this feeling, wait a minute, she might be a threat to me now. Is she a threat to me? I might, I should do something, I should assault her, but no, no, no. <laughs> Because that, that is an offense, and that is not good. <laughs> then, you do this, and I'm not going to repeat myself. You do this for a few days and a few weeks, or however long it takes. And then, at the end, you go up to audition for your solo. Not for the whole thing, but for your solo. You hand the woman a sheet of music for accompaniment, and you begin. But as you're halfway through it, you realize, oh no. There's a mistake. I put the music out of order. And she says, stop the music out of order. I, and I say, oh, well, sorry me. And she says, no, no, continue. And so you continue. And then you do it automatically. You don't realize what you're doing, but you know that's what you've been practicing for. And you know, you know that it's right. Then you know what she says to you when you're finished with your audition? Nice work. Nice work. Just a little bit of appreciation. At the risk of humiliation, of, of hate, 
And um, any other thing, you feel proud of yourself. And I apologize for any um, any discrepancies or any anything else because I've been thinking of this story off the top of my head due to our lack of material. <laughs> Sorry, maybe this helped you, maybe it didn't, but go ahead. <laughs>